Welcome to tonight's event, Résonance Autochtone, Québécoise et Indienne, organized by the Alliance Française de Bombay and the Quebec Government Office in Mumbai in the framework of the 2021 edition of Fête de la Musique, or World Music Day. The Fête de la Musique is an annual music celebration that takes place on and around the 21st of June. On Music Day, the citizens of a city or country are encouraged to play music outside in public spaces and parks. Free concerts are also organized with professional musicians. Now, the first ever Fête de la Musique on the 21st of June 1982, June 21st being the day of the summer solstice, was organized in Paris by Jacques Lang, who was a very active French minister for culture and who wanted to make culture available to the greater number. Over the years, Fête de la Musique has become World Music Day. It is now celebrated in over 100 countries on all five continents. The Fête de la Musique's main purpose is to encourage amateur and professional musicians to perform in the open and to make music, all types of music, available to all sections of society. In this year's edition, the Alliance Francaise Network in India and the French Institute have come up with a rich lineup of online events that you can follow on the Alliance Francaise de Bombay website and on the dedicated website fetedelamusique.in. We, at Alliance Française de Bombay, are delighted to tie up once again with the Quebec government office in Mumbai, a long-standing francophone partner, to bring you Résonance Autochtone Québécoise et Indienne, a concert of ethnic music from Quebec and from India that proves that Fête de la Musique is about promoting all genres of music. I wish you all a great concert. Bonjour, mon nom est Francis Paradis, je suis le directeur du Bureau du Québec à Mumbai. Il me fait plaisir de vous souhaiter la bienvenue pour cette belle fête de la musique organisée avec l'Alliance française de Mumbai et le Bureau du Québec, bien entendu. Le Bureau du Québec, situé à Mumbai, couvre l'entièreté du territoire indien. Et il me fait plaisir aujourd'hui d'associer la musique autochtone des Premières Nations du Québec et la musique autochtone indienne pour ce grand spectacle. Qui a... Le Bureau du Québec à Mumbai fait partie des 33 délégations à travers le monde qui représentent les intérêts du Québec dans toutes les sphères, tant économiques, culturelles, francophonie, éducationnelle. C'est ainsi qu'aujourd'hui, lors de cette belle fête de la musique, il me fait plaisir de travailler avec nos cousins français pour ce magnifique spectacle. Et aujourd'hui, nous allons avoir la chance d'entendre Mme Katia Rock, qui est de la communauté Innu de Wachat Makmalyotenam, près de cette île, environ 800 km de Québec. Et je vais illuminer sur la carte euh, les communautés Innu du Québec, comme vous voyez, euh, derrière moi. Il y a plusieurs communautés situées près du fleuve Saint-Laurent. Nous avons les Inuits qui sont dans le Grand Nord du Québec, vous voyez, en mauve ici, ainsi que les la communauté Cree, qui se trouve à être sur le côté de la baie James et de la baie du Son. Hi everyone, I'm Kame Gapilan, 
from Kabui Rongme Naga tribe. Our tribe live in Manipur, Assam and Nagaland of India. For today's performance, we will playing our traditional musical instrument, Pong. This is also known as drum. And with the Sankang, this is the symbol. Kong is made by using seasonal wood from the typical kind of Naga trees. The big, two big mouth of the drums are covered by the cow skin. This too, according to our traditional, drum is made by the member of Kangsu, a male dormitory. As it premises, they are kept in the Kangsu. The function of the drums vary. They are used in different social culture functions such as festival, dance, poi, poi, and the ritual ceremonies, etc. As per our belief system, men learn from the arts of drumming from the gods and the creatures. In dancing, the rhythm of the drum beat ginchong ginchong is generally used. They are very from the different purpose apart from the dancing. We are now presenting the first performance which is my love mate. Of for the fire making. Fire is important in our culture and religious significance. It is customary to create the fire at the start of the Gangai festival by the continuous pulling of the bamboo strap wrapped around the bamboo slab, causing friction. A fine wood provides a keep around the contract between the woods and the bamboo strips, which continuous pulling generates the heat to ignite the wooden powder and the smother into the fire. The fire produced the distribute to every household in the village, their own prosperity, well-being and keep evil schools. Today, in traditional to existing practice of the my love mai during Gangai, it is also practiced to mark the start of the ceremony, festival, etc. So, I now welcome you to the fire making of our tribe, my love mate.
are now going to present the song of Pazaymei. Pazaymei by tradition is performed during the Gangai festival. It is a celebration of youthfulness among men and women. We are now presenting Hegoke and Tiamnameizo. Simlam with drum beating. Simlam is a traditional folk dance of Rongme Kabui community. The dance song is sung dedicating to the fly and its life. In this dance performance, pin in a circle around each other while the following are the rhythm of the drums and the song. The drum beating makes reverberating sound escalating the moods of the joyfulness celebration. So here we go, our last performance, Simla.
Hello everyone. It is such a wonderful pleasure to be part of this auspicious occasion. I am Juliana Pautmay and I stay in Imphal, Manipur. I belong to the Rongmai tribe and we are an indigenous community who are mostly settled in the northeastern part of India, mainly in the states of Manipur, Assam and Nagaland. I shall be singing songs in Rongla, which is the dialect of the Rongmai tribe. I grew up singing in church and I was not fully aware of the musical treasure that my community possessed. But over time, I have been diving into the world of Rongmai heritage, of which music is one very important part. We know that indigenous music is preserved by passing them down from generation to generation, and many things may have been lost in transition and translation. A huge example of this is how I have failed to use any of our traditional instrument today, and rather using a guitar to accompany my song. The songs I will be singing now cover different aspects of everyday life, love and loss, and womanhood in the Rokmai life world. The first song is from a classic Rokmai folk story about a woman named Yang Swanai and her husband Natang. This one song is rather a collection of short verses that are sung by the husband Natang during and as part of the narration of the story. This song is from the part where Nakam is lamenting the abduction of his wife by the king from a neighboring land who bewitched Yansonai to become his wife. The story is a tragedy and this particular song is sung addressing a bird in the forest and the king the king who bewitched his wife wondering whether his wife will come back and to the king asking him to give back his wife and today I dedicate this song to the man who heartily taught me this song but who has now unfortunately passed away recently due to poor health his legacy lives on I fondly remember him and I will be singing this song just as I was taught without any instrument Hen roi a gualu zan tu maki Roi a gualu kum saurang tam ko He tue Gai na biak tu lui pat puki Hen roi a gualu kiu Tau jo tau pu na jo Long dai zai nhìn đun lui ngâm phu ki Long dai a bó đa ra gai mơ ghê Nang mun ta tâm ni mai lê hê tu ê Hê ai in kinh viang a nu phu ki Long dai a bó ra ki Nang mun ta ta mo he tuwe Ting bong tu tai ku pang za we zo Riang sua nai rong in di kang la kai hawe Riang sua nai rong pang lau pukong among Dundee bang pwanta 
that was the lamentation of a husband for his beloved wife. And the next song is one of the Romi lullabies. This particular song is sung by an elder sibling to lull a younger sibling to sleep when waiting for their parents to come home. The song tells the mother and father to come home soon from the fields to the hungry, crying baby. Hi, boy. Hi, It is a tradition in our community to um, sing the tempo, uh, to raise the tempo with each repetition of the song and then to reduce it like I just did with this song. And the last song that I'm going to sing is a song that I wrote recently. And this will be the first time that I will be presenting this to an audience, so it is quite special for me. And it is titled He in Tumai, which translates to O Woman. And the song is written, the tune is written along the melody of our traditional songs, the kinds that I just sang earlier. And this song calls out to indigenous women and challenges them to own their bodies and their place in society. The song tells them that it is because of their bodies that their tribe exists. It is their love that binds their families and it is their bravery that keeps evil at bay. The Rokmai specific part of the song says, Just like the dried orchid that adorns the tassels on our traditional clothes and just like the hornbill tail that adorns our hair during our celebrations, a woman's fragrance and beauty will also remain even after they are long gone. And I am hoping that with this song, I will be able to encourage and motivate women to own their bodies and to be proud of who they are.
Thank you very much. I'm from the land of the Mishtashibu River. I'm from Nitasinan, the great land of the Inu people. Hi, my name is Ketia. I'm a songwriter, storyteller, an actress too. In my community, everything begins with a dream. The first one was to live Malutenam and to move to Montreal, to learn how to sing, how to play, how to move, and to be in connection with all my culture, my tradition. The second one was the drum. I dreamt about that. And then I follow the red road. Kanduat, when the Kakuhapatak enters to the trembling tent to call the spirit world, then Papakasik, the master, the caribou master, appears. Everything was white. The skin of the earth was white. Behind them, their story. loin, au-delà des plaines et des montagnes, des monts et des vallées, de l'autre côté du fleuve Saint-Laurent, au nord de l'océan, toutes les familles rejoignaient leur territoire de chasse afin de s'y installer et chasser pendant tout l'hiver. Ces familles partaient à la fin du mois d'août. Certains allaient là où le saumon s'arrête, ou tout au bout de la Mishtashibo, ou encore plus loin que la rivière Kobaro. 
Certains parcouraient plusieurs centaines de kilomètres en canot et à pied. Durant ces longs et périlleux voyages, à la fin de chaque journée de leur portage, des aînés racontaient ces histoires étranges. Ces histoires de canaux chavirés, ou parfois des sentiers qui bifurquaient comme par magie pour attirer certains êtres fragiles. À quelques endroits précis, on entend encore l'esprit des femmes chanter, des rires d'enfants ou des pleurs d'hommes. Tout au long de ces sentiers creusés aux nombreux secrets, depuis des millénaires, ces histoires se sont transmises depuis la nuit des temps. Washte, when the moon speaks to you, she guides you through your truth. Then you will see. You'll understand your way.
Wichinan means help us. I wrote that song a few years ago. It is for our history, our tradition, and to preserve our languages. Shine, 
Toi et moi, it's the story of my grandfather. When two souls are in connection with all infinity of tenderness, for me, they will be toi et moi, you and I. Là où les chemins s'égarent, là où les sentiers guéris, là où la rivière s'engage, où le ruisseau rugit, là où les pierres polies font le lit des rivières, là où nos pieds se délient et dansent une prière, toi et à travers les arbres, toi et moi, à travers les arbres. Là où la peine est immense, là où les pleurs affluent, là où les hommes inventent sans sous mon vertu Là où la mort trébuche, là où nos yeux s'en veulent Mais au cœur du sauvage, la vengeance est sans but Toi et moi, à travers les branches Toi et moi travers les branches Nos chevaux se renvoient et du sol sur leurs sabots de bois retentira l'écho de nos voix l'écho de nos berceaux vidés nous les enfants immaculés de la terre écarlate peindrons sur nos corps Dépayser nos appartenances, nos rêves écartelés, nos familles démembrées. Toi et moi, à travers le temps, toi et moi, à travers le temps, toi et moi, à travers le temps, toi et moi, à travers le temps. 
mon cœur. La fumée de mon souffle caresse ses yeux fermés. Il a besoin de ma chaleur. Seul avec ton enfant qui commence à vivre, je ramène ton corps jusqu'au camp. Vingt jours, au moins jusqu'à la prochaine lune. Il cherche ton sein. Je le vois, il a faim. Ses larmes se mêlent à la sueur sur ma poitrine. Mes yeux aussi se mouillent en tirant les cadavres de sa mère. Nuka means grandmother, a song by Cyril Fontaine, a song who I started to sing to thank all our grandmother. Un slam de Natasha qui dit, c'est pour mes enfants que je chante, c'est pour mes grands-parents que je danse. 
je serai encore là demain. Nous serons encore là demain. Nous ferons encore la paix demain. Mon cœur, je je ne sais pas si je suis un peu plus tard. Je ne sais Jusqu'est-ce Je <laughs> Je suis